Hello! In this video, we'll talk about Instant Swap. This property allows you to quickly change icon or component inside component. But I'm using that property myself only for icons. And today I'm going to show you how you can use Instant Swap to quickly change the icons. The first thing that we need to do is just create a button. But before that, I want to tell you something very, very important that can ruin the whole experience. And you will not be able to create Instant Swap in a proper way. So you can stuck with that problem and I went through that couple of times already. First you need to understand where to get all these icons. When you just created or like added the icons from the icon library or just downloaded them somewhere, the next thing you must to do is just create a component. So go to all your icons you have and create them as a component. Now all of the icons created as a component and this is the very important step. The next thing we need to do is just go to the assets and from here we need to take the component that we just created. Not the master component of the icon but component or you can call it child component. And now we have an icon the next thing we need to create is a text of sure. Now I'm going to select the icon and text, click Shift A, which means create auto layout. Then I'm going to add some properties here and play a little bit with the paddings and the colors. You can choose whatever you want on your taste. Once you're done, you have uh, your future master component. In our case, it's a button. So all we need to do is just go to the top menu, click on this create component and boom, we have a button. Let's call it as a button. The next thing we need to do, click on the master component, go to the properties, plus icon and then choose instant swap. Here we need to create a name for this instant swap. I'm going to call it icon swap, which means I can change the icon at any time I want. And the next thing is a value. Value means like default icon that I would like to see here. And I'm going to click here and then go to the icons but first be sure that you select this local components in the drop down menu then go to the icon section and click the icon that you want to see by default here and preferred value also will help for instance Bob to understand like from where to take all these icons so you can also select all of them to add them in the list if you want to or you can just skip this step and once you're done with that all you need to do is just double click on your icon and then in the right hand menu you'll see that under this parent component you'll see the name of the icon and then you'll see the small icon you need to click on if you want to apply instant swap property here and then choose the instant swap property here in our case it's an icon swap and that's pretty much it all you need to do is just go to the assets and take away the child component or the master component from the asset panel menu and then here in the properties you can see now you have icon swap and from the list from the drop down you can click one of these icons you would like to swap if you don't see the icon in the list all you need to do is just click to the preferred and change it to the local components and then you will see the icon sections here and you can change the icon very quickly. This method more convenient for design systems. But if you're working on a very small project and you have all your files in a one project file, then you can just click on the local components and pick one of the icons you need to. So Instant Swap basically needs to quickly change and swap the elements inside the component. It might be a text, it might be an icon, it might be whatever you want. But in the most cases scenario, I'm using myself only for icons. And another way how we can use the instant swap is here. Let me quickly show you and I will try to explain you how I created that. But I don't see any good purposes to use that because you can do the same thing by using variables or even using the booleans. So let's say we want to change the property for this button and make it left hand icon. I already created two components. First is the icon left, second is icon right and then the final component that contains one of these master components, not the master but child components inside the master component and just the background. And I created this property as well, like a property, then click the button, instant swap, created the instant swap property here. And I picked one of these master components that I created before. So in my case, it was button left icon. And now all you need to do is just click on this master component that you added here, click here, and then go and add this icon position. 
I can unlink it, then if, when I click on this small icon for instant swap, you'll see that I can apply this instant swap property here. In my case, the name was icon position. And the next thing I need to do, go to the assets, drop this button, which means button final, and button final is here. All I need to do just go here and drop this button the work area. Then you can select one of these instant swap components and create button right or button left. But moreover, as you know, we already have and we already created the master component here that also contains instant swap property. So you can even double click or triple click on this icon and then you'll see that you can also change the icon inside the component. It's a little bit too overwhelming and I would maybe not to do it like this because it's too much. We have a lot of other properties that fits here better, but I just wanted to show you how else you can use and in what situations this instant swap. I know that design and system is something that focused and based only on this instant swap properties, but to be honest, I'm not a big fan. I'm using this instant swap mostly only for the icons. If you know any other things how you can use instant swap, just let me know in a comment. If you have any other questions regarding that topic, please leave all your questions in a comment. All useful links, as always, you will find in the description. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please smash like and subscribe on my channel. See you in the next one.